So learning objective six is about the principles of information security. 6.1 is specifically about three topics which, uh, when combined together, are known as the CIA triad. And this stands for confidentiality, integrity, and availability of the information. So if you think about it, is the information that we have on our systems confidential? Now, what that means is, do only the people who need to have access to it get access to it? Okay, is it safe and secure? Is it kept away from prying eyes? Is it kept away from people who might try and hack the system or steal the data? Is it kept away from people who don't need to see it? So, if you think about the college, we have a, a finance department and they deal with people's wages. So they know people's names, staff names, staff addresses, how much they get paid, how much tax they pay, how much national insurance they need to pay, uh, whether they have any pension contributions. That information should not freely be available to anybody who wants to see it. It needs to be kept confidential to those people who work in finance and maybe to the individual employer, but nobody else. So confidentiality is about only allowing people who should have access to that information to be able to get at that information. Okay, so that's kind of covered by things like the Data Protection Act, uh, the Computer Misuse Act, and so on. Integrity is about the completeness of the data. So has it been... Uh, sorted in terms of any information that is out of date has been removed? Is all the data we need available to us when we need it? Or is there some uh, information missing? Has it become corrupted? Is the data complete? Is it whole? Uh, is it useful for us? And availability is about having access to the data when you need it. So is it there when you want it? Uh, and so these three things co combined together, this CIA triad, form the three fundamental principles of keeping information secure. So it's got to be confidential, it's got to be complete, and it's got to be available to the people that need it, when they need it, but not available to those that shouldn't have access to it. Okay, so let's have a, a quick look at a, an exam style question. Now, if I just take you back to the top, because it's the uh, it's a section of a larger question. So we're told that there's a company called Better Cleaning, that's part of the case study. They have client accounts, and those client accounts are stored on a spreadsheet. And if you move down to the, the part of the question that is uh, useful for us, it asks us to identify a method which could be used to maintain the integrity, so remember that's about the completeness, um, of the client accounts. So is there anything we can do to stop people messing about with these things? Or is there anything we can do to uh, allow the uh, you know, data to be up to date and complete and all records removed and, and so on? So that's the question. It's four marks. So we're looking for a method. And we are looking for your rationale, your reasoning for why that method, um, you know, is the one that you chose. So if we have a look, we can see some of the things that they suggest. The method must be correct, okay? If you write something here that is not right, then your justification is also not going to be right, which means you're going to get no max. So if you get this bit right, hopefully the rest of it will follow. So the method must be correct to enable marks for the justification. Uh, one mark for the method and up to three marks for why you think that's a good method to keep this spreadsheet, uh, you know, to keep its integrity. So one of the things they're suggesting is you could maybe lock the spreadsheet. Now, spreadsheets have different mechanisms by which you can lock them. You can password protect them, 
or you can lock certain cells or you can lock certain sheets so that you know you can still see the data but you can't make changes to the data or you can uh, lock elements of the spreadsheet and then password protects just those elements so only the person with the password can actually make changes so the method they're suggesting is well we can lock the spreadsheet why well because then only the person who needs to be able to make the changes can then make those changes this will then stop the data uh, being wrong it will stop somebody accidentally deleting or uh, or changing something because they don't know what they're doing okay changes uh, can be made and then you know the system can be uh, the spreadsheet can then be uh, locked back up again updated information will be held in the spreadsheet which kind of links in with this answer here so uh the spreadsheet should really only contain information that's been updated it so it shouldn't be um containing uh, any information that's out of date or that is wrong or that should have been uh fixed in some way but hasn't been one thing they're not allowing if you uh, look here is encryption and then a password to unlock that encryption and the reason for that is because the question is about the integrity of the uh, spreadsheet so it's about the completeness and up-to-dateness uh, the reliability of the data it's not about the uh, availability uh, or, or the uh, confidentiality of the data so if the question was asking us about confidentiality uh, then obviously encryption prevents people from uh, even opening the file so that would uh, have been a, a better answer uh, if it was talking about confidentiality but it wasn't it was talking about the completeness of the data okay so this is the kind of question you're you're likely to get um surrounding sort of confidentiality integrity and availability of data within an organization